way that they've talked about you and the way that they've by name um, and owners obviously us uh, to us to know so first and of a rundown your where you are these people that you've met today people like that people that um, have kids and young um, you know for me I love These families exhibit when they're getting their wishes granted. Support them. I, I can't imagine that after the first time you say, well, it just, it's something that. Missions. And then we call with this. When they hear about uh, as we wrap up that we now cross the number five wish granted Yay. line uh, so let's hear it wish the seven hours we've granted five wishes uh, 35 to go to our goal of granting 40 wishes we'll do it and you know I think the incredible thing is it's been mentioned uh, by Kaylee Chris myself um, you know, and, and others, I'm sure, today and in the interceding week, uh, you guys don't have a wait list. You guys aren't being selective and saying, well, your wish is, is bigger and more important or, or more cost efficient. You guys say, this is a wish you want, this is what we're going to do, and you get it done. And we say, when do you want to go? Yeah. And if they say, well, geez, two weeks from now would be fine, we're like, okay. Let's make it happen. Yeah, we do. We do. Because as, you know, some of the families have mentioned, Whenever they take advantage of their wish or whenever they get their wish granted, um, that schedule may not be up to them. Right. There's treatments, there's, there's traveling to see specialists. Uh, you know, this morning we heard from a family uh, whose, whose daughter has to see a doctor in Washington, D.C. because he's one of two in the country that can treat her and, and can, can help her. Right. So, you know, the ability for wishes can happen for you guys to say on your schedule. Right. I mean, that's just, that's incredibly compassionate. That's incredibly considerate uh, for these families. So, you know, as we head into the next hour of this wishathon, you know, what are, what are some thoughts that, that you think are important for, you know, donors to know whether they already are donating, whether they're on the fence about pledging? I mean, we, I've, I've said a lot today and families have said a lot, but I think it's also important for someone who's put so much time and love into it as you uh, to share that thought as well. Well, what, one thing I'd like to point out is that, you know, I have an elderly mother. And over the last many years, mm -hmm. she would get phone calls. She would get mail. And she would say, I wrote out this check. Will you put it in the mailbox? And I'm like, wait a minute, Mom. <laughs> and then I would, I would pull up, you know, how much of that dollar actually went toward that mission. Yeah. Two cents of that dollar. Wow. With Wishes Can Happen, it's 92 cents of that dollar right now that goes toward that wish we don't have high administrative costs sure. we spend money on the newsletter that we sent out sure. to people very low cost real and um these these are local people these are your your neighbors and your friends that you might know and and we are a real charity
will do really good things with your money. Absolutely. Madison, uh, excuse me, Madison. Madeline I like that Sweeney. name, though. Gabe. Madison's a great name. Well, there's a couple, there's a couple wish kids uh, who Madison, are named Madison. And so as, I'm, as I was processing this yesterday, sure. the ends started, started all bleeding together in, in crunch time. Uh, yep. Madeline Sweeney, thank you so much for taking the time today. I'm sure we'll be speaking again we uh, before the end of hour 36. The CSE phone lines open right now, 330-649-WISH. That's 330-649-9474. You can donate at Wishes Can Happen, excuse me, MixWishes.com to benefit Wishes Can Happen. Uh, we will continue with the 2019 Alt Care Wishathon right here on Mix 94.1. Have you made your pledge? 